A young mother murdered. Her two children disappear. It's been three years since that happened. It's still no sign of Kayla Hunter or Christian Justice. For their loved ones, there's a feeling of emptiness every single day. You try to think as optimistic as possible, but like I said, you still have pessimistic thoughts that come in because you're so anxious. The family says they believe answers are out there somewhere. They just need your help. 7 Action News reporter New Prakash is here now with more on this story. This is still an open investigation for the family of Kayla and Christian. It is a daily struggle. What happened and where are they? When Treve Fox thinks of her beloved grandchildren, Christian and Kayla, she feels joy. Overactive, <laughs> real overactive. Um, she had a personality out of this world. And Christian? I called him Yum Yum because he wanted to eat up everything. Mm -hmm. So it was like he was just coming into his personality. You know, just a happy baby. <laughs> But along with so many treasured memories, there's also a deep and often unbearable pain. Fox hasn't seen the kids in three years. Kayla was six and Christian eight months old. It's a void every day. They disappeared in June of 2014, the same time their mother, Alicia Fox, was found shot and killed in an abandoned Detroit home. Alicia's estranged husband, Aaron Justice, who's also Christian's father, was sentenced to a minimum of 47 years in prison for her murder. I haven't even given my daughter a funeral yet. Because? Because I just feel like that. I told God that I don't want to do this three times. If that's the case, they were a family. But Fox believes the kids are still alive. So does Alicia's sister, Christine. I feel like a time isn't enough proof to say that, you know, it's not going to happen. There's people who will go missing until they become adults. And, you know, so I feel like there will always be hope. Alicia's loved ones believe Aaron Justice knows exactly what happened to those kids, but he's never told them anything. I can forgive him for what he did to my sister. I just want to have a piece of her back. He does have the answer. And what is it that's going to make him tell us that I don't have the answer to? Detroit Police Sergeant Shannon Jones has been working this case from the beginning. I want them to know that without them asking me that I'm looking for them. She even keeps the kids' pictures on her desk. They didn't do anything wrong, and they don't deserve to be wherever they are right now. Somebody out there knows something. Trevay Fox remembers how three years ago it was an anonymous tip that led to Alicia's body. The community also came together to search for the kids. They were really, really supportive, and it was just, you know, to look around like, wow, you know, like, there's people that really do care. The hope now is that someone else will care enough to simply do the right thing and bring those who love Kayla and Christian some peace. It may seem nothing to you, but it may be that one piece that we're missing in our investigation. My grandkids are the only thing that we have left of her. Search for the God in you to just to, to you know, come up and just tell and don't have any fear in your heart. You know, we want our grandkids and we want our family back together. We reached out to Aaron Justice in prison, but he declined our request for an interview. There is still a $3,000 reward for information that leads to the whereabouts of Kayla and Christian. You can remain anonymous. Call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Well, you got to hope and pray he'll have a heart and speak up one day at least. On Saturday, Treve Fox and many others with missing loved ones will be gathering in Livonia for the annual Missing in Michigan event. It's an opportunity for people with a missing family member or friend to meet and talk to organizations that can at least help them find answers. We have a lot of cases that we have solved from the event alone. Um, some of them alive, some of them deceased, but all of them have in a way closed a chapter for that family.